Are you guys ready to open up some boxes? Hello everyone, I'm Natasha. Today we're gonna be doing another fandom of Bookish Unboxing! I have never opened, nope, take it back. I've opened one of these already before. I have yet to open, what is this? World of Wizardry. It looks like a chest. I know Emma already opened it, but I have not watched a video, so I want to be surprised when I open it. This one's been sitting in my room for a really long time. And then I have this little itty itty bitty one charm with me. This is the box that I've opened before, which is the book boyfriend box. I love this box so much in my last unboxing video. They came back on the Crate Joy website. And so I'm so excited to be opening up another one because it was so good. This is like probably one of my new favorite boxes. Today I'm very Slytherin to out. That is my house, by the way, if you guys did not know that. I am a Slytherin. I've been a Slytherin twice on Pottermore. The first time I took it, I was Slytherin. And the second time I took it, I was Slytherin. So I'm a Slytherin through and through. I'm one of Crate Joy's ambassadors. This video has been kindly sponsored by them. I do unboxings with them once a month. I skipped April and my schedule's a little off track. You're gonna have like four unboxing videos this month and I apologize, but you know what? They're so fun. I have a full playlist of unboxings for almost a year. So let's stop talking and get into the boxes. Let's start with the new one, the Charm With Me Club. Charm With Me Club, the best geeky theme charms for your bracelet. Charms fit Pandora bracelets. I don't have a Pandora bracelet. Maybe some of you guys do and you wanna check this out. But this box is $19.99 a month. Oh, oh, they are gifting you a starter bracelet when you sign up along with the two current charms of the month. <gasps> it's Pirates of the Caribbean themed. I'm so excited for that movie, guys. Elizabeth Swan is coming back and Orlando Bloom, and it's gonna be like the first three all over again. I hope it's good. Wait, wait, one is April, one's March. Game of Thrones is March and Pirates is April. I don't, do I have both of them in one? A little ship, it's like the Black Pearl. Oh, this is like a tentacle, like an octopus octopus tentacle or a kraken tentacle. This is a castle. I'm thinking this has to do with Game of Thrones. <gasps> Dragon egg charms. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, this is bracelet. This is necklace. This is like a choker. Let's put the dragon eggs on. Ha, ah, ah. ha. Okay. Oh my gosh, wait, there's a skull. I missed one. The skull charm. I love this idea. It's subtle so you can like still wear it. People aren't gonna really know that it's like geekery. I already almost have half a bracelet. This is so cool. Ha. Huh, pretty easy. This is the Pandora charm bracelet. I love this. I want more, I wanna fill it up. Let's get into Book Boyfriend. We've got two more left. If you guys want the Charm With Me Club, it'll be linked down below along with the Marketplace or Crate Joy. Crate Joy is a marketplace for subscription box. Each box are privately curated, so it's not just like Crate Joy who makes them all. It's all business owners who create them. <laughs> Does this have tape on it? I see what I've done. There's tape. Instead of using my Wonder Woman strength, I can just use scissors. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Man, I've been so lucky. Box of without crinkle crap. That's interesting. What is this? Cannot a beast be tamed? Robin McKinley. Is this Beauty and the Beast? <gasps> it's Beauty and the Beast themed! Yes! Okay, we all know how much I love Beauty and the Beast. I saw it three times in theaters and it's still playing. I might go see it a fourth because there's a sing-along version happening. So, the Funko Pop, which is the new Belle with her new dress. It's so cute. Look at her. I actually have the original one, Belle in her blue dress from the animated movie. Jessie got it for me for Christmas. I never keep these boxes, by the way. I just, I don't care about stupid boxes. Go away. Oh, and their hair is so cute and pretty. I love these. Thanks for being our guest and putting our service to the test. Tie a knocking around your neck, Sherry, and we'll provide the rest. Our April Beauty and the Beast box, which we had an absolute blast putting together. Whether you live in a magical castle or a little town, these magical Funko Pop vinyls are sure to bring your collection to life. Oh, we could have got the Beast. I'm glad I got Belle. I prefer the princess. Looks like I've got some tea. This is Spring Court. <gasps> I'm not too excited about the Spring Court anymore. I would have preferred the Night Court, but that's fine. 
because Tamlin is more like the beast, so I understand. But this is some least leaf tea. These just keep piling up in my pantry. All of these teas I get in these boxes. I use them sporadically sometimes. I'm not really a tea drinker. I do prefer coffee. It's always nice to have a selection if I want to brew tea. I'm such an American. I never brew hot tea. I always brew it so I can have it in a large pitcher and make myself sweet tea, even though I'm not from the South. <gasps> we got a candle! Cool & Co. Ooh, a new candle company that I can check out. This one's called Beastly. It's 100% soy candle. That's interesting. Well, this candle was inspired by some favorite Beauty and the Beast retelling characters such as Resan from A Court of Mysteria. Resan. Resan. <laughs> the concept behind it was about looking past the outward appearance and seeing the heart within. Is this supposed to smell like a heart? It smells like fruit punch. It's an interesting smell. What is this? It's like a little envelope. I'm so confused. What is this? Mineral makeup? Supposed to be like a blush sample? You're sure to be the Belle the Ball wearing this exclusive limited edition tale as old as time eyeshadow. The lovely rose shade is vegan and cruelty free and will complement a variety of skin tones. You can use it anywhere on your face and even mix it with clear nail polish and paint your nails. Wow. What's the book? It's all wrapped up. Don't look at the shadows too long or a demon might look back. That's scary. Oh, it's from Cruel Beauty. Hunted, a beauty deadlier than the beast. New York Times bestselling author, Megan Spooner. Dear readers, I'm so excited to share my new book, Hunted, with you. This story has such a special place in my heart. There's something healing about the universal stories and love in fairy tales. Yes, there is. Fairy tales are my favorite. Oh, the Starman trilogy. I was right. She's one of the co-authors. Hunted is about Yeva. Her family was very wealthy and they were aristocrats and they lived in a castle, but before they got wealthy, they used to live on the outskirts and her father I assume lost all of his riches and they moved back out to the outskirts of the kingdom. Her father loses his mind and he goes missing while trying to hunt the beast, this creature out in the woods and Yeva, his daughter against her sister's protest, leaves the house and goes out hunting for the creature and trying to find her father. Definitely Beauty and the Beast but I'm wondering what the twists are. I always love a good retelling so I will be excited to read this and this cover is very pretty. So that was the book boyfriend box, a little bit different from the one I unboxed last box we're gonna open up the box are there gonna be fantastic creatures i'm gonna let out oh well Ooh, green it's green theme like slytherin Ooh, there's a shirt oh my gosh look at this shirt it's all of the houses this is not lady sizing so this is gonna be a sleep shirt there's no crinkle crap in here yay what is this Oh my gosh, these are house themed coasters. There's so many things in this box. Like, look at this. This is a Geek Gear box. It's their wizarding box. I've heard of them. I think they're one of the more popular boxes on Crate Joy. I think this is like another little Funko figure. This is kind of like Owl Crate a little bit, but there's no book, which I'm fine with. <gasps> and do I get Hedwig? I got an owl. Sticker pack. They look like little Funkos. Hermione and Ron and here. No, and Hedwig just fell. I have a wand necklace. <gasps> This is huge for a necklace. Could I even get on a plane with this? They would probably think it was a weapon. I have a Dobby pin. <laughs> Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts this year. I got the Slytherin one. <gasps> yes. This is a keychain, a new Scamander keychain. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this print. This is an owl art print. I love all the colors. For the month of March, we are giving away some awesome prizes, including hundreds of pop vinyls. One lucky subscriber will win an awesome replica of the Sword of Gryffindor. <gasps> That's so cool. Well, that was an awesome box. I really enjoyed that. So that was my April unboxing. Not really because it's May, so expect a lot more boxing videos this month. Thank you guys all so much for watching and for Crate Joy and all the curators who own these boxes for sending them to me. They're always so much fun to open up and I highly suggest you guys check out some of these boxes if you have the means to. All the links are down below and check out Crate Joy while you're there. I'll see you guys all in the future. Keep calm and fangirl on. Bye!